is a beautiful day to be outside, which is great because we are gonna be checking out filming locations of Halloween Kills and Halloween 2018. This is probably a good time to mention that with the film not being released yet, there may be spoilers ahead. You've been warned. Now we initially thought that the movie would be out this year, but unfortunately it looks like it's being postponed so we can only speculate as to what these filming locations are just yet. The bulk of the filming for Halloween Kills was done here in Wilmington, including this beauty right here, which served as Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. The sign said right over there, Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. This may be the entrance to the emergency department based on photos that I've seen. The fact that it's vacant inside makes me think that they have may used it for interior shots as well. There's also a photo of this other door that's decorated in Haddonfield Hospital signage, which makes me think this would also appear somewhere in the film. The original Halloween and Halloween 2 are my favorites in the entire franchise. So the fact that Halloween Kills is bringing it back to the hospital that's just tugging on my heartstrings a little. We had a hunch that they were filming the interior scenes at Screen Gem Studio here in Wilmington, and look what we found along the outside of the studio. That is so cool. Those are definitely the uh, police cars, and if you can see close enough, that ambulance says Haddonfield. We've made it to Wallace Park, which is Haddonfield Community Park in the movie. There's a teaser that shows someone swinging, but we've also seen photos of this park being taped off like a crime scene. So the merry-go-round was right here, the slide was over here, and this was all taped off. We've seen the things that we are gonna see here in Wilmington. Now let's head a couple hours south to Charleston, South Carolina. Let's go check out some locations from the Halloween movie from 2018. Right here behind me is the Military Magnet Academy. In the opening sequence of Halloween, it shows the two podcasters going into Smith's Grove Sanitarium and coming very close to M Michael in their courtyard. Now the center of this building is that courtyard. That opening scene where they confront Michael in the courtyard and they're taunting him with the mask. It's just an incredibly tense moment. It's a great scene in the film and that checkerboard pattern is just a really cool look. Definitely don't want to trespass today or any other day. But down there is the entrance to Lori's house. It's so far away. But just down that road is where the podcasters, I mean investigative journalists, <laughs> pull up to Lori's gate to try to interview her. Yes. Hello. Um, we're looking for Lori Strode. We think we just found the house. We think it's just beyond those trees. We are just gonna fly the drone up and just see if we can see it. I'm so glad that we're able to see that the house is still there. Although, maybe Lori wouldn't be so happy about that. No, no! Don't let us burn! It's here in North Charleston that they are walking to school. They would have been coming up this way towards us. In the you can see the fire hydrant in the shot and the that roof back there. It is definitely interesting that these trees are in full bloom. The grass is green. We are definitely not here in October. Even in the most would have been right here that Allison would look outside of her classroom window and see Lori Strode standing right there. I just love that 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 there's this scene where she looks out the window like Lori does in the first Halloween, only instead of Michael Myers standing there, it's Lori. Great. 
I read online that the field that was used for the high school field had been demolished and it looks like it's true because that's the address that it was supposed to be at. We are now at Siesta Motor Lodge. This is the location of the hotel that the podcasters are staying at. This is McDougal Correctional Institution. This is the sanitarium Michael is getting transferred from in the film. So this area right over here is where the bus crashed that Michael Myers was on, transferring him from one sanitarium to the other. And then later you would see the person with their child that stops at the crash and bad things ensue. But it's right here. Look. Lumpy, you stay here. I'm gonna make sure no one's hurt. You call the police. Even with two different websites help, this really is a doozy to find. But we made it to the cemetery where Judith Myers was buried in the movie. So Judith's tombstone would be right around here sitting right in front of this one for George Wilson, M.D. This is our only claim to fame. Maybe you can explain to me what's so special about Judith Myers. The tombstone's right here. Right over here is where Michael would have been. So he would have been right over here. You can tell this is where he was standing because you can match up the shape of the tree and, well, the shape of the shape. This is where the podcasters stopped for gas. She goes inside to find out where the loo is. Where's the loo? Excuse me? Bathroom. What she finds out is right around the corner right here. She goes in there. Michael follows her, but unfortunately this bathroom is not the actual bathroom. I, I can't imagine a bathroom as big as in the movie is fitting inside of there. <laughs> this is the house that Michael finds a hammer in, and then later, the knife. The legendary knife. He would go back around the side there into the shed to find a hammer. This house right here, that is Amanda's house. That is possibly the grossest scene, in my opinion, the grossest kill. She is in that window right there, closing the blinds. Michael bangs her against the couch and then stabs her through the throat and you can see the knife come out the other side. <laughs> and this right here is Julian's house. The house that Lori Strode gets out of her truck and sees Michael in that window right there. When she first pulls up, she's in front of this house right here. She yells at the kids wearing the masks from Halloween 3. Get out of here! It would be right about here that she would look up and see him, his reflection in that window right there. I think of all of the locations, this one is my favorite just because I can so vividly just like imagine him being in that window. It's so cool. I bet it would be cool to live here, except maybe not. It would have been about right in here that Michael gets hit by a car. If you liked checking out these locations with us, make sure you subscribe. We've got more fun up our sleeves ahead. Thank you to our patrons for supporting us to make videos like this one. Thank you to Jordana underscore Lequeen on Twitter. She has an amazing collection of so much Halloween Kills info. We would not have been able to make this video without her. And thank you to Real to Real Movie and TV Filming Locations for their comprehensive list of the Halloween locations in Charleston. We'll see you next time.